is gone from my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a calm in my way For today's grim adventure, we find ourselves once again in Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Hollywood, California. Today we're going to be visiting the final resting place of two members from the band, the Ramones, as well as some ducks. All right, you can't make this up. A flock of ducks here making a splash at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. And as NBC4's Jonathan Gonzalez shows us, it's all because they seem to be channeling a well-known rock star linked to this famous landmark. Look around, this is beautiful. This is such a nice place. The Hollywood Forever Cemetery might be an unlikely place to find serenity in the city. It feels like so, so pure and natural and just like beautiful and calm to be around it. But be warned, it gets a little <laughs> quacky from time to time. Hey guys, how you doing? Every afternoon, the ducks, the geese, the swans at the Hollywood Forever Lake march to the grave of punk rock legend Dee Dee Ramone. At one point, I said, let's see if we can get the ducks to follow us around the lake, you know, just for fun. The birds are known as Ramone's ducks, a name that truly fits the bill. It was a pandemic pet project from Coyote Shivers. So come where? with your tears and pleasant gaming come on you guys with life locked down last year they just wanted to have something to do i wanted to get out in the sunshine and there was nobody here but like the dead we weren't allowed to go to the beach or the parks or anything i said i feed the ducks and the cats and he said there's ducks there and i was like yeah so we taught the original five ramones ducks to come up here we would feed them every day and it was it was cute it went from five ducks to 35 to 100 every day the birds leave their duck away beach whenever they hear this remix of the Ramones hit Blitzkrieg Bop that's been dubbed Quackskrieg Bop. Yes, you heard that correctly. If you are a fan of the Ramones, then you know their song Rockaway Beach. And because of the ducks here at Hollywood Forever in Hollywood, there's Duckaway Beach. And it's the pond over near where all the celebrities are buried. So let's get the lay of the land here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. About the center of your screen is where you'll find the final resting place of Dee Dee Ramone. We're going to visit him in a little bit and talk more about his life and his career. But if we pan the camera over this way, you see that pond? That is what's known as Duckaway Beach, if you're a Ramones fan. Right about the center of your screen, just behind those tall trees, I think they're called cypress trees, that's where you'll find Johnny Ramone. And for kicks and giggles, right over here, the center of your screen right next to the road, is the final resting place of Vampira. Now before I introduce you guys to the Ramones ducks in person, yeah, we're gonna get up close and personal with them, I do wanna point out these different signs. Please do not feed the animals. And they're posted pretty much everywhere around this pond. Now, I never met the two people that are in that video that came out here almost every single day for, I'm guessing, what, two years to train the ducks to kind of flock over to Dee Dee Ramone's grave. And, well, it all said it in the news clip. But after talking to the people that run the cemetery, they don't take too kindly to people coming out here and feeding the wildlife. So that's why they have these signs up. But we're here, and the Ramone's ducks or over there in the water. I honestly didn't think that they were gonna show up. But there they are. The Ramones ducks. Five black ducks here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Well, let's leave the Ramones ducks alone and head over to the other side of the pond and pay our respects to Dee Dee Ramone. And there it is, 
the final resting place of D.D. Ramon, real name Douglas Glenn Colvin. Born September 18, 1951, died June 5, 2002. He was 50 years old. And sadly, he died of a heroin overdose, an addiction he had pretty much most of his life he couldn't kick. It says D.D. Ramon, there's some flowers taped to it, and it says, okay, I gotta go now. And right there at the top of the tombstone is the logo for the Ramones and a whole bunch of lipstick kisses on the tombstone for Dee Dee. People have left coins, cigarettes, stickers, guitar picks, even sunglasses. Man, it's pretty wild. I think for the most part, if you're a fan of the Ramones, then you know that Dee Dee was actually the original singer for the Ramones. And then eventually Joey, who we all know is the face of the Ramones, became the lead vocalist, and then Dee Dee became the bassist. And it's because of him that we have a lot of the most recognizable songs from the band. I think out of everybody here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery, Johnny Ramone has the most picturesque plot. And he's not even buried here. It's just a, a statue, a cenograph, if you will. He was cremated, and his wife currently has his ashes. Man, and it's probably one of the most photographed stones or statues here, more than Dee Dee, more than anybody else. And in case you didn't know it, Johnny Ramone was the guitarist for the Ramones. So let's see here. Johnny Ramone, born John Cummings, a legendary guitarist for the Ramones, born October 8th, 1948, and died September 15th, 2004. He was, well, that makes him 55 years old, and I do know that he died, he passed away after a very long battle with prostate cancer. There's a quote here, if a man can tell if he's been successful in his life by having great friends, then I have been very successful. Then right down there in the bottom right hand corner is his signature, Johnny Ramone. How are you? I'm John Norris with MTV News here on MTVU. Johnny Ramone, legendary guitar player for the Ramones, died in his sleep on Lo in Los Angeles on Wednesday afternoon. Pioneering punk rock guitarist Johnny Ramone has died after a long battle with prostate cancer at the age of 55. If the Ramones invented punk rock, and they did, then Johnny Ramone, born John Cummings, was the man who created punk's thrashing locomotive guitar style. Johnny's death follows the passing of Joey Ramone in 2001 and Dee Dee Ramone in 2002. The band is gone forever. But the music and speaking of friends, on the side of the statue, he was a great American and the greatest friend. I love you, John. Eddie Vedder. And right below him, a dedicated punk and a loyal friend. Thanks for everything. I miss you, Johnny. Rob Zombie. We have two quotes on this side. Please come back, love, Vincent Gallo. And as a good friend as there ever was, John Frusciante. I don't know if you can see these two because of the shade, but it says, you're my partner, you are the coolest. I love you so much forever and always. Love, Linda Ramone, and right below her, forever here today, never gone tomorrow, my eternal friend, I love you. Lisa Marie Presley. You know what? I've never noticed this before. On the different stanchions that are holding up the chain surrounding a cenograph, it's got the logo right there. It says Tommy, Johnny, Joey, and Dee Dee. It's on all of them. It's no secret. There are a ton of famous graves here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery, and by all means, come and explore. You never know who you're gonna find, but if you do come here with the Ramones in mind, make sure you visit not only Johnny, but Dee Dee and try to track down the Ramones ducks. With that being said, from Hollywood, California, thank you for joining us on another grim adventure. Until next time, happy Halloween. Wherever I come, bad luck is coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck is dead in state. Good luck never stays a day. Bad luck's always coming my way.